Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. This video will be all about how to hide whiskey from your spouse. If you want a few extra pointers on how to hide whiskey from your spouse, how to get away from the extra purchases, where to stow it, where she or he don't know it, then go ahead and continue watching this video. But if your spouse is around, turn the volume down. You don't want them seeing this. You don't want them seeing this, because if they do, bad news for you. Wow, wonderful. I am just in a wonderful mood. I'm sitting here, extra comfortable, my back is feeling great, and that's all thanks to today's video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Thanks to the Ridge Wallet, I no longer have to sit lopsided on my stacks of cash. Mm -mm. Thanks to the Ridge Wallet, I can keep unlimited amounts of money in my front pocket because there's room for up to 12 cards and room for cash on the back with this cash strap. Guess what's right around the corner? Father's Day. And guess what an awesome gift would be for your daddy-o? Ridge Wallet. Go to ridge.com slash ADHD. Use code ADHD at checkout and save yourself 15% on this modern, sleek, super sexy Ridge Wallet. So you're getting a little bit of heat at home, huh? Your husband or your wife, your significant other, isn't thrilled that your whiskey buying habit is becoming what some doctors would consider to be a major problem. Is it a medical problem? No. Is it a financial issue? Pfft, probably not, but probably. We don't have much time before they find out we're not doing chores or that we're not in the same room as them, so we better hurry and list the ways that we can hide whiskey from them. Do we love our spouse? Absolutely. Do we love the way that they micromanage our whiskey budget? Oh no. Mm -mm, sorry. Obviously, the best relationship is a relationship where you can both agree that whiskey is the best. Or you can both agree on a budget. But unfortunately, there's not many relationships like that. If you have a relationship like that, congratulations. High five. Way to go. Go ahead and leave now. This video is not for you. This video is for people out there who are trying to get whiskey in the house without troubles from their spouse. Not every relationship is exactly banging in the bedroom. You have your peaks, you have your valleys. While the peaks last for two minutes, sometimes the valleys last for 30 years. And in those droughts, there's no safer place to hide a bottle of whiskey or two than in that kinky sex drawer that you built together back in the 80s. If your spouse has a problem with Amazon.com and just gets a bunch of boxes from Amazon, go ahead and save a few of those boxes and stash your whiskey in it. Babe, I just want to keep some Amazon boxes in case you change your mind and want to return some of these amazing items you've purchased. Just looking out for you, babe. Just like everything else, the cost of bourbon is going up, up, up. That is, of course, unless you purchase yourself a pricing gun and mark them bitches down, down, down. They're all marked $12.99. Check it out, babe. I'm a bargain shopper. No big deal. Just call me Mr. Savings because I'm on the hunt for a bargain. Got a bunch of exercise equipment in your house that's not being used or has never been used? Go ahead. Rent a climate-controlled storage unit. Put the Nordic track in there next to the exercise bike and Peloton and 200 bottles of whiskey. When they ask where their equipment went, just say, babe, I got it under control. I wanted to clear this space out because we're going to start Zumba. Summertime is rolling around. You know what that means. The Christmas ornaments are boxed away for at least four more months. If you need a temporary storage solution, all those boxes marked Christmas this and Christmas that could stow a blue spot or a rye from dad's hat. Seasonal boxes are the best temporary storing solutions. If you're looking for a more long-term storage solution, 
then go ahead and find the boxes that have your children's mementos in them. Is your kid 14 and you've just been saving all of their artwork for the past 14 years? You ain't going through that anytime soon. You ain't going through that until they graduate high school and go on to college. So you got four years to store bourbon in those boxes. Guess what else husbands and wives love? Totes. Go to the store, buy a bunch of plastic totes, but not the ones you can see through because that would make you stupid. When your spouse sees those totes, no questions asked. All they're gonna say is amazing, wonderful, beautiful. You read my mind. We should probably get organized. But they never will. It'll never happen. Those totes that you purchased from the store will remain empty in their mind. Pick up your spouse a bunch of scratch-off lottery tickets. If I know anything about scratch-off lottery tickets, it's that spouses love to scratch them bitches. You go to the gas station to get them a fountain pop with the good ice, and you come back with like 13 scratch-off tickets. And you're like, hey babe, here's some scratch-off tickets, and they're like, that was so sweet. But those scratch-off tickets come with an agreement. You'll buy the tickets, but you'll split the winnings. You may be out thousands of dollars before you can buy a bottle of whiskey with the winnings from those tickets, but guess what? It may be a losing situation, but it's a win for your bourbon collection. Houses with finished basements, not great, because your spouse will definitely go into a finished basement. Houses with unfinished basements, way better. The chances of your spouse going down the stairs into an unfinished basement and wandering around are pretty slim. So there's a lot of storage opportunity for bottles of bourbon down there. If you think that unfinished basements are the best storage opportunity for a housing situation, you would be wrong. The absolute best case scenario is that your house doesn't have a basement. It has a crawl space. No spouse has ever in the history of time ever entered a crawl space. That means there is unlimited hiding opportunity from the length and width of your home underneath it to hide as much whiskey as you like with 0% chance that your spouse will ever find it. If you need to go into the crawl space to retrieve a bottle and your spouse catches you down there, all you have to do is make up a quick little story Oh, I was just down there checking for leaks in the pipes. I was just down there making sure that there wasn't any mold activity. I was just down there spraying for bugs. Any story you got will work because all they want is to forget the crawl space even exists. That's true. Whenever you go shopping for an appliance like a chest freezer, make sure that you buy the extra large one. Your spouse will be like, there's no need for a chest freezer that big. And you're like, oh, they fill up faster than you think. Get home, build a false bottom, put a bunch of bottles underneath that false bottom. And guess what? That freezer is full before you know it. Not only do you have extra storage space for your whiskey, but you look extra super smart. You are so smart. Way to go. High five. How did you know? We're at the end of the video and I need to tell you about the ultimate secret hiding space for whiskey at your house. This is guaranteed to work and this has never failed. If you want to look like the sweetest husband or wife on the face of the planet, then you build a family time capsule, damn it. You put it in your backyard or your front yard. You put it wherever the hell you got room. But what you do is build a ginormic, huge family time capsule that can't be opened for 40 years. Inside that time capsule, you will put family mementos, pictures, recipes, super special items that your family in the future will see and go, oh my gosh, this is so important. This is so amazing. I'm so happy that my family built this time capsule. But guess what? That time capsule is a capsule of bourbon. Boom, bang, pow. Check that shit out. They have no idea, no clue, not a single damn clue that what you put into that time capsule is a whole shitload of whiskey. It's something that they will never ever open. Never ever. 
because there's a time capsule and it's sacred. But whenever they wander off to work or head on out to get their nails done or their hair did, you go out to the time capsule and you pick out six or seven bottles that you hid. Is it dishonest? Yeah, a little bit. But is it extra super smart? Oh, hells yeah. A time capsule full of whiskey is just a time capsule full of smartness. All I'm saying is it's 2022. Spouses are getting smarter, yo. Hiding places aren't as easy as they used to be. Mm -mm. We recently purchased a tankless water heater, but I kept the original water heater to put bourbon inside of. We have unlimited hot water and extra secret storage space for about 60 bottles of bourbon. We recently purchased a Dodge Grand Caravan, not because it's reliable or even any good, but because it has stow and go seating. And as long as the seats are up, there can be bourbon hiding underneath your feet. How many bottles can you fit in the stow and go in a Dodge Grand Caravan? 43 bottles in the front. 64 bottles in the back. My wife started collecting cookie jars lately. Guess what? She doesn't make enough cookies to fill up those cookie jars. But you know what I do? Buy enough whiskey to fill them up. Those things aren't gonna be opened for years. I don't know if this video helped or not. I know it wasn't as good as the first video, but I've gotten so many requests for a follow-up. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave a comment below. Where do you hide your stuff? We would like to know. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on having a happy, healthy marriage. Hiding things from your spouse isn't a good idea. It's probably one of the worst ideas, but it is fun to joke about every once in a while. It's a little bit of fun. It's a little bit of fun to hide whiskey in their Ugg boots. But in reality, it's a good thing to be honest with who you're married to. Because guess what? You're married. And they love you. And you love them too. If your spouse doesn't share the same love of whiskey that you do, then try to be honest.